A BIM gallery in the Onuma system is set up for viewing only access to projects. You do not need to have an, a login to the Onuma system or even understand what BIM or GIS is to be able to use the BIM gallery. There are many ways to get into the BIM gallery, but one view is a map view. You will get a URL link with a map such as this. On the map there may be a, a red dot or two. Each dot is a project location which with a pop-up in it which will jump you to another view. So this will actually zoom into a live plan view if you clicked on that. Another way to navigate is along the top. You can go to the live plans over here or we can just click on live plans in the map view. Live plans give us a list of, of views that are available so you can say I want to go to look at the site plan and it'll launch into a site plan in the window. These are all dynamically set up views. In other words, if a project is being worked on, you will see the updates to the project. In the BIM gallery view, you cannot edit any data, but you can click on things and pull up information about the project. So for example, clicking on this brings up the project name and other attributes saying this is a new building, for example, or the elevation 1,337 feet above sea level. Along the top again, I can go live plans and go to the first floor. The first floor loads and there's a pie chart on the right side with a color coding of the floor plan. The pie chart indicates all of the pink spaces for example are part of laboratories. If I click on laboratory here it gives me a total square footage and a percentage of that floor. Or I can click on individual spaces, double click on, on the space brings up more information about that space. I cannot edit any of this data but I can actually view quite a bit of information just by clicking on the space. I can navigate floor to floor on the upper right so I can go to the second floor or third floor loading that floor and you can zoom in. There's simple tools here. The hand tool actually lets you grab and scroll around zooming in and zooming out. You can use your mouse scroll wheel or the buttons up here. The A button increases or decreases text size. The button below actually hides or shows different types of information in the room. And there's a 3D button. If you click on there's two ways to get to 3D up on the upper right there's a 3D button. If you click on that it launches into Google Earth, flies to the location, places the building on the site. And if you zoom in you can actually see the same spaces here again. Clicking on spaces actually brings up information about that space. Closing that and then on the upper right you can say which floor you want to see showing all floors. or Maybe you want to see only the first floor. There's the first floor. And you can color code these spaces as well. So if you say color code by department it will actually build up a new view with a department color coding. This is a separate window that can be closed. The dashboard button up at the top brings up a report for the whole building. Data on the left, live pie chart on the right, which can be enlarged. There's an enlarge button here. You click on that. It brings up a floor by floor departmental view. The images button brings up images if they're stored associated with the project can load these images. Files are if there are any associated files connected to the project. I clicked on the plus button up here and it shows me different information that's attached to it. Comments are links or comments, text comments that have been written about the project and from here you can actually connect to other information. So that's the overall navigation of the uh, BIM gallery. If there's multiple galleries, you'll start seeing them down the left side, but it's kept simple in this case, just with one particular view of a building. You can actually mix multiple buildings even, if you had a map view and you had multiple buildings.